welcome back. So let's get information about the types of hypervisors. Right now, in front of you, we have an enterprise data center. And when we implement uh, virtualization technology on it, it will be look like this. Here you can see that the number of servers reduced. So in the previous session, we discussed that the basic purpose of the virtualization technology is to bring independent independence uh, of our uh, virtual machines that uh, our operating system will be completely independent from underlying hardware now it's time to get the second benefit that when you implement the virtualization technology the number of physical servers will be reduced as you can see in front of you so due to the reduction of physical servers the uh, maintenance and the administration process will be get easier for it staff or for it team so it's it's the second benefit of this technology now let's move and understand the types of hypervisor so generally we have two types of hypervisor uh, we have uh, two types of hypervisor the one is called type one uh, while the second one is called type two hypervisor so we get the uh, basic idea or uh, get the basic difference between uh, both of these two hypervisors let's move further here you can see that when we talk about the type 1 hypervisor type 1 hypervisor is completely independent from the operating system you can install the type 1 hypervisor directly on your hardware in in the same image you can see that we have the physical machine Here you can see that we have the physical machine and on that physical machine we installed the hypervisor of the VMware which is called ESXi and this type 1 hypervisor not dependent or not require any type of other operating system uh, to make this hypervisor operational. So when we talk about the type one, type one hypervisor uses in the enterprises, uh, enterprise network, or you can say that in a, in a production network independently, and this hypervisor have the capability to create virtual machines uh, uh, from its uh, physical or underlying hardware like a compute or like a, a memory or a storage or networking each and every component which is related to the physical infrastructure why when we uh, talk about the type 2 hypervisor type 2 hypervisor is not recommended for enterprise networks or production environments type 2 hypervisor is dedicated for the purpose of testing or for the purpose of university projects or uh, for the purpose of creating demos uh, in your own uh, uh, server machine or in your own laptop the other important thing about the type 2 hypervisor is that type 2 hypervisor cannot uh, directly installed on the hardware if you want to install the type 2 hypervisor you need any type of operating system it might be uh, a windows uh, 10 or it might be windows uh, 8 or it might be a server uh, 2012 operating system or in any a linux operating system so uh, a type 2 hypervisor is still dependent on the operating system so if you don't have any other operating system you cannot install type 2 hypervisor like if you don't have any operating system you cannot install the office applications or graphics application or any other uh, sql application so in the same manner when you are implementing the type 2 hypervisor type 2 hypervisor require the operating system so the major difference between type 1 and type 2 is that type 1 is directly installed on the operate uh, on the hardware while type 2 is require operating system without operating system you cannot install the type 2 hypervisor 
second important thing which you need to understand about the type 1 and type 2 is that type 2 is completely recommended for enterprise networks for production networks because it's completely designed for uh, enterprise data centers so while type 2 uh, uh, about when we talk about the type 2 it's totally uh, dedicated for the testing purpose so i hope that you get the basic idea about the type 1 and type 2 hypervisor let's get into the demo of these two uh, hypervisors because uh, now we have that much theory about the virtualization a technology and we have that much concepts related to the virtualization technology so now we have to move for the demo and let's see how type 1 is uh, making operational this industry and how type 2 is working in the testing environment so let's get into the demo and understand the basic idea of the 